When we think of narcissism, what comes to mind are images of grandiosity, entitlement, and self-centeredness. Yet not all narcissists fit into this stereotype. A communal narcissist comes into being at the intersection of empathy and egotism. On the surface, communal narcissists may appear to be highly empathetic and attuned to the needs of others. They may go out of their way to help other people, offering their time, skills, and resources to support a worthy cause or individual. However, the empathy that communal narcissists express is often intertwined with a deep-seated need for validation and recognition. As a result, communal narcissists engage in behaviors that appear selfless on the surface, but are actually driven by a desire for ego gratification. For example, a communal narcissist will donate money to a charity, but do so in a way that ensures they receive public recognition for their generosity. This interplay between empathy and egotism can be difficult to detect, especially since communal narcissists are skilled at masking their true intentions. They use their apparent altruism as a shield against criticism, deflecting any accusations of self-centeredness by pointing to their selfless actions. Furthermore, their craving for validation is deeply ingrained, often stemming from childhood experiences of neglect or abuse. As a result, they genuinely believe that their behaviors are driven by a desire to help others, even as they ignore their own underlying motivations. Communal narcissists exhibit the same traits as other types of narcissists, such as entitlement, grandiosity, and a need for admiration. However, these traits are often expressed in more subtle and covert ways within the context of pro-social behavior. Communal narcissists are often deeply committed to acts of selflessness and altruism, but their charitable acts are driven by a need for recognition, admiration, and validation. They donate to charity, volunteer their time, or perform other tasks that appear virtuous and selfless, but they do so in a way that ensures they receive recognition and praise for their deeds. Communal narcissists are often highly empathetic towards certain individuals or groups, especially those who they feel will provide them with the validation they crave. Conversely, they lack empathy towards others who they perceive as less deserving of their attention, or who are less likely to boost their reputation within their chosen community. Communal narcissists use subtler forms of aggression than traditional narcissists. They engage in passive-aggressive behavior, or use guilt, shame or other manipulative tactics to get others to give them attention or support. They present themselves as meek, kind-hearted and caring but behind the facade lies a desire for control over those around them. Communal narcissists are highly skilled at convincing others of their value, and they can be very persuasive when trying to gain support for their causes. They use their charm and charisma to build loyalty among their followers, and they have a remarkable ability to convince others to do their bidding. Although communal narcissists are often proud and self-assured, they may also experience underlying feelings of anxiety, vulnerability or self-doubt. This sense of insecurity can drive them towards narcissistic behaviors that enhance their status within their chosen community, or help stave off any feelings of inadequacy. Communal narcissists often have a deep-seated need to belong, to be a part of a community where they are respected and admired. They feel isolated, rejected or misunderstood outside of this community, and will go to great lengths to maintain their place within it. Communal narcissists tend to be highly resistant to criticism, and view any form of feedback or dissent as a personal attack on their character. They will also blame others for their failures or shortcomings, and are reluctant to take responsibility for their actions or decisions. Communal narcissists are often highly focused on achieving status and recognition within their chosen community. They view their accomplishments as a reflection of their worth as a person, and are highly competitive with others who are vying for the same position or level of recognition. They present themselves as selfless, altruistic and caring individuals, but this is just an illusion. Their altruism serves as a means to an end, a way to gain admiration, power, and validation from others. They may even use their altruism as a shield or excuse to mask their self-centered behavior. Communal narcissists often leverage a sense of obligation or indebtedness to manipulate others into doing what they want. For example, a communal narcissist will not hesitate to guilt-trip a friend or family member into supporting their cause, 
or shame a colleague into doing extra work on a project. Communal narcissists have an idealized image of themselves as kind, generous, and virtuous individuals. They believe that they are morally superior to others, and may see themselves as saviors or heroes within their chosen community. This constant aspiration for perfection can make it difficult for them to recognize their own faults and failings. Furthermore, communal narcissists demand unquestioning loyalty from those around them, insisting that anyone who does not support their goals is a traitor or enemy. They also view any criticism or dissent as a personal attack on their character, rather than as a healthy form of feedback or dialogue. In conclusion, communal narcissism represents an underexplored area of narcissistic personality disorder. The intersection of empathy and egotism is a key defining feature of communal narcissism, and can make it difficult to identify and address these traits in individuals. It is also worth noting that, in some cases, communal narcissism can lead to positive outcomes, such as increased giving or volunteering. Nevertheless, when these traits are taken to the extreme and used as a means of manipulation and control, they can become harmful to both the individual and the community around them. For more information about narcissists and narcissistic abuse, visit www.carlacorelli.com.